Hello, my sewing friends. This is Friday Sews on the Lanai. Woohoo! I'm Jen, and this is my Lanai. Welcome to my Lanai. It's beautiful out here. It's early evening, and I'm going to lose my light if I don't talk fast. So I'm going to do that and tell you all about the sewing that I did last week. I did finish a couple of things up, and I had one ish, not so great not a fail but not so great thing I finished a huge win and something that I'm still working on still in progress I am hopeful okay so the thing that wasn't the greatest turnout but could have been worse Vogue 9357 this I've been working on had some fit issues got it finished realized that that the waistline was too long so I took it, I took the bodice apart from the skirt and just took some, took about an inch off of the bodice and that lifted the skirt up. And then it, it hits me right. But you know, I think it's too big. It just feels too big. It feels like it fits well through the waistline, but up here through the bodice, it just, it's too big. It's just too big. I can tell because when I pull some of the fabric out like I, I get a hold of that zipper and I pull it it's um, it's fits great but yeah it just feels too big now I have a daughter that I think it'll fit she loves a big full skirt and great pockets and so I think she might really like it the other thing about it is that I don't I don't like how light it is like that stripe is not prominent. So it doesn't really show up the style. I know I'm being really picky about it here, but it's fine. I could wear it. I might wear it. I don't know. This was my huge win. Speaking of wins, uh, New Look 6620. I made this version, the same one she's wearing. And I had made this before out of a cotton lawn. And I wondered if I made it again in a cotton interlock or a ponte, if that would work better. And boy did it i am over the moon about this top that i just made i had some leftover ponte from another project i think either that or it was a scrap i got last summer at some place and it worked so well it fits like a dream this only has three pattern pieces and one of them is a big huge triangle because you've got the tie so the interesting thing is if you make it from knit you can wrap it in the front or the back. You can turn it around and it works probably because of the knit because otherwise I think if you put the sleeve on it wouldn't work because the sleeve is more full in the back than it is in the front. So huge win. I, I just love it. And I don't know, I might make it again just because I love it that much. Speaking of this top that I wore to the expo, I want to tell you about the expo because I still haven't done that and this is almost a month later and I'm going to forget everything if I don't. I do have a video all about the expo, but I don't want to, I've had trouble getting photos together with that, so I'm going to go ahead and just tell you about it. Um, it was an amazing experience and for me it was all about the people. The expo, uh, happened over St. Patrick's Day weekend, the weekend of the 17th of March. And it actually started on the Tuesday before that Friday. And there were all day classes, half day classes in fit and quilting in uh, technique and method and then all kinds of things. And Michelle from Michelle Sews Again went up on Tuesday to take classes, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Although I don't think any of us went back on Saturday, it's funny. Uh, so she rented an Airbnb and we all kind of camped out and it was wonderful. And that was the appeal for me. I didn't take any classes this year. I only went to the exhibit hall to kind of see machines and fabric and stuff, quilts, you know. And uh, so that's all I did. I didn't take any classes and neither did my good friend Trish, my BFF Trish. Uh, from Pinky's Farm. She and I just were there for the people. So we went to the meetup, we went to the exhibit hall, and that was it on Friday. So Tuesday, Michelle was there. Then Wednesday, Trish and I came in from opposite sides of Florida. And um, that evening, she and um, 
Andra from Andrew Makes and Christine from Christine Sews a Lot and Trish and Michelle and I, I was trying to think, it's five of us, went to an, um, a Cajun restaurant in downtown. We, to take we a are picture on of all of our us. way to the restaurant. Yay! Where we are going to eat Cajun food. Yeah, we are. Because it's a Louisiana kind of restaurant. Fantastic. The food was amazing. I was really surprised. I, I didn't think I liked Cajun food. Well, it just depends on the Cajun food. Michelle is from Louisiana, so she knew all about it. So Trish and I got up on Wednesday morning and we went over to get Madi from Madi Sews. And we picked her up at the Tampa airport, brought her back. She headed off with Michelle to some classes. The rest of us, uh, we, we got Andra and we picked up Carol from So Carol. And uh, we all were together and had a trip to Joanne's. It was great. And um, then we, picked, we went to the grocery and picked up all kinds of stuff for a big charcuterie board and it was a party <laughs> it was a big party so i took pictures and we sat and nibbled on food all night and talked about everything in the entire world and then they brought out a cake and threw me a baby shower i was completely flabbergasted i had no idea and they just gave me the most wonderful gifts Maddie gave me a grandma's uh, survival kit which was hysterical. I'll show you the gifts when I show you the gifts that we all exchanged in another video. Um, we all brought fabric and we swapped that around, swapped some patterns. But those Sneaky Pete's, I'll tell you what, the ones that brought fabric did not go home with fabric. They put it all in my, in my bins and I brought it home. Like, what's up with that? Now I have to go find a place to... <laughs> It was just funny. I got it home and I thought, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> so actually I had another look. But. So that was Thursday night. Friday night we got up, we went to the expo. We met all kinds of people. I got to meet Robin from Robin's Love of Sewing, who is the sweetest woman. She's a little bit shy, which I really appreciated. She just was so sweet. She brought little towels for everybody that um, are made with a pot holder and a dish towel and you button them onto your the handle of your oven and it stays there, which I love because, oh my goodness, mine's always falling off. Well, she has a tutorial for it, which I watched and I uh, finally found the Coastal Collection at Dollar Tree this past week and so I have a couple of towels in there and a couple of pot holders and I'm going to make a couple more because they're just wonderful. They just stay there. <laughs> I love that. So she had those and then Grace, she made the coolest little thing. It's a little note holder with a pen in it and it was so cute. She made mine out of all kinds of beachy stuff, but she did it out of uh, a little like acrylic photo frame. That was really cool. So that's in my sewing room. That's a wonderful gift. She was so thoughtful. So there's all kinds of people. And then we met all kinds of people who uh, watch our videos, um, just friends that we know from comments. And I, that was fantastic. It was just so cool to meet everybody. And uh, we took photos and we just did that whole thing. It was really fun. And then we left uh, Trish and I left and did a little more shopping that we were not in the mood for. So we went back to the house and, um, and then Saturday everybody went home. So it was an amazing experience. And if I go back, I will do the same thing. I will go to the exhibit hall and then I will just say, hey, um, I'm here for the people. This is Friday Sews. Uh, there's just something about that kinship that we have with each other that connection through sewing it's just it's a beautiful thing so that was my experience with the expo so let me move on because we got comments we don't have very many comments just um a couple first of all apologies huge apologies to deb cobb who does not live in australia as i said i even almost edited that out when i was editing that video and I should have because she's from Georgia. She says, I live in the beautiful, hot, humid, and frequently riddled with tornadoes state of Georgia. Born, bred, and will die here. I will never forget that. Never. <laughs> now, thank you, Deb, and I, I apologize. And now we all know Deb is a Georgia peach. 
Regarding this dress, let's see, Debs made this and Letitia Thompson uh, recommended that I take the straps and go straight back instead of crossing them in the back. And I tried that, but the straps are wide. And so that means they're wide in the back and it just makes them want to fall off my shoulders. But that's, that's probably okay if what I do is do some strap keepers in these. And I think I'm going to do that. Um, they're crossed right now. And what I did, I went in and I, I let these out just a little bit. I think when I made this, I, I, they were too long or I felt like they were too long and I wanted them tighter. And <laughs> it's like, yeah, time has gone by now. I want it looser, but I had enough in there to just let it out about a half an inch and that helped. So thank you for your suggestions. And I do think that that if I want it to be really loose, that's a great way to do it. The reason I love to make and watch videos, okay, I got two comments this week that were hysterically funny, and I hope I can get through the second one because, man, I am still laughing. Okay, Donna Brisboy, I think it's Brisboy, it might be Br Brisbois, uh, says she spent the day with her 91-year-old mom. They went out for lunch, and when leaving, she says, I spent a good minute trying to help her get into my car from her wheelchair on a brisk, windy afternoon. When I finally got her in and turned around, her wheelchair was gone. She thought I was joking when I said that it was gone. I looked across the parking lot towards the road and there was her wheelchair blowing slowly <laughs> across a four lane highway, stopping traffic. I'm so glad no one hit it. It took me a bit of time to get across that busy road to retrieve it from the other side. By the time I got back and got in my got myself into the car, I was laughing so hysterically with tears pouring down my face that mom was worried I was gonna have a heart attack. I have not laughed so hard like that in a long time, if ever. Boy, did that feel good to laugh like that. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Like, who's the ghost pushing the wheelchair? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, and then Victoria Hanna, who comes down to Florida from Virginia often and uh, visits and then goes back up home. Okay, she said, she had quite a week, and then she says, then we thought our dog was seriously ill and could possibly die. We had seen her swallow something kind of white and round on a walk. So the vet tells us that by her symptoms, her swallowing something and the fact that the vet has dealt with this numerous times, our dog has most, I hope I can get through this. because Our dog has most likely swallowed a marijuana butt and is basically high and stoned out of her mind. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she said the bad thing is that it cost us $95 for my junkie dog. It took her a couple of days to get back to normal. <laughs> I laughed when I first read that. I thought I'm never going to be able to get through that on camera because it's so funny. I'm never going to be able to not laugh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just, oh. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. Oh my gosh, that was funny. Okay, let's move on. Oh gosh. This morning I learned from Carol from So Carol that the Schmetz Sewing Machine Needle Company has an app. I downloaded it. It's so helpful. All those times that you can't tell what that needle was that you were using or what you just last sewed, and is it stretch or universal or micro? What's in my machine and you can't read? Like, good luck. You have to have, you have to be Superman to have x-ray vision and read those needles, the engraving on them. Well, Schmetz has you covered. And also she pointed out that Dame Mary Quant died yesterday, April 13th. And she was 93. She was appointed in 2015 to be a dame. How amazing. 
is it that she lived to be 93? She designed the dress that I made for my So Frugal Challenge. She was so talented. And if you are old enough to know who Twiggy is, uh, Twiggy had so many wonderful things to say about her. So yeah, I'm sure she will be missed. This week's question is phrased for people in northern the northern hemisphere but i'm going to adapt it so that we include everybody are you sick of winter or summer the cold of winter the heat and humidity of summer and ready for warmer weather or cooler weather clothing what's the first thing on your list to make for the new season well I don't have anything on my list to make for the new season, really. I have a few things that I want to make. I was in a quilt shop uh, earlier this week dropping off some scissors that needed to be sharpened, and I found a purse that I really liked, and I thought, I think I might want to make that. I think I might. Am I catching the bag-making bug? No. No. They also had machines, and I had a good look at a cover stitch machine and Stephanie Farrell Focus's bath. And I talked with her about it. Mm. I don't know. Mm, so tempting. Uh, but other than that, no, I don't have anything really. Uh, I have my bootstrap fashion mannequin that I want to make. I have the pattern for it. I sent it off to be printed. It's a PDF. And I got it back a while ago and I've just not done anything with it. And so I think I may do that. But other than that, nothing really. Let me know what you're making for the new season. Do you have any plans for, you know, just some new stuff? I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of ready for some new stuff. We'll see. Okay. That'll do it for Friday Sews this week. Um, as always, check over here for a playlist of all my Friday Sews, and I will leave you with this wonderful scripture. The steadfast love of the Lord, it never ceases. His mercies, they never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness, O oh God.